Tom Brady's jersey was found. And not only one jersey, two jerseys were found. And as two people who were credentialed at the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. I feel like if the suspect list had got long enough, we probably would have got on there. So I feel like this kind of clears our name a little bit and takes a lot of pressure off of us because we yes. are not the ones who stole the jersey. I was already thinking ahead of time, like, what if they come to talk to me? What am I going to say? <laughs> Here's my alibi. Yeah. Um, I think it, I mean, it's obviously a very funny story. It's, yeah. it's kind of, it's, it's insane that a person could get away with that twice. Yeah. We were in the locker room after the game, and there are a lot of things going on, yeah. but to think that you could just reach into Tom Brady's locker and <laughs> no. steal his jersey, without anyone noticing, whether it be Brady or the players around Brady at the locker. Yeah. I mean, I know that this is probably the wrong takeaway, but it's kind of impressive that <laughs> someone was able to, to do that two years uh, at yeah. the Super Bowl. And apparently he stole Von Miller's helmet and cleats too, which a helmet is, that's a bold move to try to steal a helmet after a Super Bowl because a jersey yeah. you can just kind of like tuck away somewhere. I don't know what you do with a helmet after the Super Bowl. That's, like, yeah, unless he was walking around with a bag. I'm very curious yeah. to see who this, this person is because yeah. I wonder, I mean, it, it, the hardest part of that is actually removing the item from the locker room. Right. Now he's caught in Mexico with How do you end up getting caught? That's yeah. the crazy part today. That is pretty unbelievable. Those Houston police weren't messing around. I guess. The FBI, and the FBI, was. The, the FBI involved. <laughs> it's just, a serious business. There's never a shortage of bizarre storylines with the Patriots, I feel like. I think it's kind of strange that Tom Brady only mentioned once that his other jersey was missing, too. Because through all of this, everyone was making such a big deal about this jersey that at one point he said, like, oh, yeah, it happened two years ago, too. It's like, yeah. well, you probably should have said <laughs> something more than that because then maybe they could have yeah. looked back at those tapes, too. But maybe he was, you know, with the authorities were, were in on that. But I, it, it might be part of how they he didn't want to make it into a big story. So he just <laughs> right. tried to just keep it as low-key as possible yeah. when talking about it in press conferences. and have his faith in the FBI and the Houston <laughs> police force. And it's crazy that we're leading off the show talking about, about this.